everybody. My name is Ginger McSnowball and I'm here from the North Pole Post Office to tell you a little bit about what we do here. We're going to be talking about writing letters to Santa. Have you written yours yet? Well, what do we do here? We sort letters here from all over the world. So just like the post office where you guys live, we don't just get letters from you to Santa, but elf to elf, Santa to elves, and maybe even Santa to you, and so much more. When we sort our mail, we sort them by where you are in the world, by sector. Then, of course, we also transfer things based on what presents you get. It is so much, but it is so exciting. We're even starting to get stocking mail. Do you even know what stocking mail is? You don't? Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. Stocking mail is usually activated by the North Pole in the last couple of days before Christmas. It is an emergency career service between your Christmas stocking and the North Pole Post Office. How does it work? If you write a note and put it in your stocking after stocking mail has been activated, the North Pole Post Office can retrieve it. How do they do that? Well, that I can't share with you because I don't quite understand it myself. It's very high tech and all I know is, is that it works. Stocking mail is for messages that are only written on paper. If other things were put into the stocking while activated, some not so good things would happen. Weird things happened when we tried it before. The cookies sent by stocking mail didn't quite taste right. One time they sent a baseball bat by stocking mail and it turned into a pile of toothpicks. Then one day, real tragedy, they put an elf into stocking mail and he literally just sat there and didn't even do anything. He couldn't move. Since then we've decided to turn those things into um, scout elves, but that's a totally different story. <coughs> then a brilliant elf invented a new kind of filter that controlled stocking mail even better. The filter, which has some sort of weird name to it that I can't remember, causes stockings to only accept paper-based things for transmissions. If someone put a doll into a stocking, nothing would happen. So now, I'm going to teach you how to write your letter to Santa. You always want to start with, Dear Santa, and end with, Love, your name. We have a few options here. You can either make your own, draw a picture, or include a bunch of information about what you may want for Christmas this year, or even about yourself. For example, I might say, Dear Santa, this year I have been nice, and I'll draw him my picture, and I love Ginger McSnowball. Then, when you finish, you want to fold it up and put it in an envelope. So, how do we do that? You want to write your name, your address, to Santa, of course, to the North Pole. And we always put a stamp at the corner of our envelope. You drop it in the mailbox. I can't wait to see what you come up in your letter. Merry Christmas.